Hello guys and welcome to The Moon. I'm sitting today with another fellow YouTuber and trader, Thomas Krollo. How are you doing today? Hey Carl, very good. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, hello everyone as well. And uh, what a beautiful day today to be talking about crypto. Yes, always a good day to talk crypto. And today I wanna talk um, or ask you about you and your story because I've seen uh, some of your videos and some of your, your stuff on Instagram and YouTube. Yeah. Um, you are um, a fellow content creator just like myself yeah. and um, I want to know more about your story I can see that you are doing a lot of trading just yeah. like myself as well so I think we're very similar in many ways and um, like how let's just kind of get into like the, 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 the first things like when did you get into crypto and um, how, how, how did you get into trading and, yeah. and that stuff so uh, it's a great question you know I've been into trading for like 10 years at this point but uh, nine to ten years. But into crypto, my first portfolio I've put together only in like 2019, and it was all long-term portfolio. And I was still trading stocks and futures. So I am initially a stock trader, and uh, then as I progressed and as I saw the returns of crypto, as I actually was diving into it more deeply as to the utility and the value of blockchain and crypto industry in general, that's when I was just going full on crypto. So full on crypto, I'm um, since 2021, 2022. And the YouTube channel went into crypto as well. And that's when I also launched my own crypto hedge fund. Also my own uh, crypto venture fund where we invest in early stage crypto startups. So, yeah, but that was the beginning. And I think I got into it late. But then when I meet you and I talk to you about blockchain in the future, I realized that me and anyone watching, we are just at the freaking beginning. This I agree with you on for sure. So good stuff that you're here. That's um, that's great. And also you are in Dubai. You're yes. based here, right? Yes. Yes. Amazing. I tell everyone all the time to to come to Dubai, be based here because not only is the the uh, the land of the future, but it's the future of crypto as well. So I'm uh, I'm very, very happy to see that you're here. Um, what do you think about Dubai and crypto? And like, why did you come and base here? You know, to be honest, I think that this is well, obviously for everyone everybody in this industry is here i mean most of the people are either in dubai or portion in the united states but even then we're seeing so many people actually migrates out of the because of the regulation and everything that is happening and the sec so a lot of people are moving to dubai and even a lot of exchanges so i just wanted to be in the area where everything's happening so and also because of safety just dubai in my opinion is the safest place where you can be i mean mm -hmm. i had a golden rolls royce phantom like this crazy golden car actually two golden cars and i could leave them out in any area of dubai not being worried people will just take a picture with it mm. you know and that's it yeah. in europe people would probably shoot me for it or something. Yeah. It, it's absolute nonsense i know it's uh, it's really amazing how you can walk around here with uh, with your expensive things that you should be able to enjoy right because we work for it you have a very beautiful watch by the yeah, way thank rolex you. day date it, with green dial olive yeah, dial yeah Super beautiful. Hopefully, it's going to get discontinued. It will be also a very good investment. Yeah, yeah, it was a very beautiful watch. Thank you. Well, yours is freaking amazing. Too. Yeah, it's also quite nice. <laughs> yeah, we're all watch guys. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good way to en enjoy your gains to convert your crypto into yeah. something tangible and that uh, holds its value. Yeah. Watches are actually a decent investment. Yes, I think it also follows the narrative that, you know, US dollar and they're diluting it. And just by having a million dollars five years ago, today you have much, much less. And that's why people start to realize the value of scarcity. Even like your watch, it's one out of one. My watch, it's a kind of, you can say it's gonna be a limited edition day date. So it's also scarce, it's not infinite. And once they discontinue it, the price will go up. So it's something you're investing into history. And with Bitcoin, this is the most advanced type of asset out there. So, and yeah, and Dubai, you know, just go back, going back to Dubai is the place where all of this just scales exponentially. Yeah, 100%. So. Um, the first time I think I saw you online was on Instagram, I believe, because there you completely blew up. Yeah. You made some really, really um, everything from funny to to very like inspirational things yeah. uh, regarding like trading and, yeah. and stuff. We did 50 million engagement in one month, 50 million views, engagement, whatever, in mm. one month by just doing educational content, crypto. But I'm known as this guy with two clicks and money for. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I think those videos got like. Millions and millions, millions and millions. millions. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna leave the link to your Instagram and your YouTube channel down below. You should go check it out. Check it out right now. Um, and uh, so, so when you do content creation, you do on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Yeah, TikTok uh, as well. A bit. TikTok, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Which ones do you prefer and why? I would say uh, Instagram is more for lifestyle. It's more attracting people and inspiring people, showing what is possible. Mm. Because both of us are 28 years old and we live a life of you know the 1%, so to speak. Not to sound you know nasty, but we're trying to, uh, I, I'm for sure trying to you know inspire people and so do you in your mm. content. Uh, to achieve something, to go out, to be against the stream mm -hmm. and to do the things that others are too scared or just too lazy to do. Mm -hmm. So Instagram is my primary place where I get the most engagement. And then YouTube, I would say, is my second favorite for all the technicals, trading, all the mm -hmm. crazy trades, analysis, etc. I like YouTube because it's easier to get into detail. Yeah. yeah. Instagram is good for impressions and get yeah. uh, attention. Yeah. But on YouTube, you can really get into it. You know, like yeah. I, I make long tutorials sometimes and, yeah. you know, you go into trading strategies this is something you cannot really do on instagram no no people are bored on instagram yeah. people want to be entertained yeah. on youtube they both want to be entertained and they want to learn something yeah so that's for sure i mean but twitter i know you're very big on twitter but for me i just still didn't learn this twitter game no. though, but i don't know i'm trying I'll to share some advice <laughs> well it would be very <laughs> much appreciated i guess i know you know your thing yeah, yeah it comes yeah. to all of this so yeah yeah, yeah. My, my twitter is actually my biggest in terms of the following yeah yeah uh, i yeah. think 1.2 million now almost 1.3 million it's crazy. and the engagement yeah. you get is absolutely crazy yeah. too yeah my twitter is very 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 good it grew like crazy in the bull market i got like ten thousand followers per day at one point yeah like yeah. it was absolutely mind-blowing yeah this, this was actually i was getting 10 no my record was twenty two thousand followers on instagram not on twitter on mm. instagram in one day until instagram shadow banned me shadow banned me maybe because i was doing, doing it too fast I yeah know. yeah uh, you told me I, I saw your graph it was like yeah that's not nice that sucks i mean it's so demotivating but this yeah. is the world we live in i mean you have yeah. to live by the algorithm and yeah and it's a good uh, example of why you shouldn't trust a central authority because mm, if I you guess. put too much um faith in one central authority yeah. then they can they can cut you cut yeah, your everything yeah. imagine if all of your revenue came only from there then they would have cut your revenue right there yeah, that's why i diversify see yeah. i know that you have a, a bit of a different stance on this but you have many companies mm -hmm. and great projects in the same like in crypto for me i also have as management i have crypto businesses i have mm -hmm. also university so education where i teach people how to trade and invest and that's a separate business and then i also have a real estate company in dubai mm -hmm. so i diversify like really different industries yeah which makes it very hard to live sometimes 14 hour days <laughs> but yeah but this is like on the point of diversification yeah, so, yeah you have to exactly and this is a good example why you should start twitter because yeah. if let's say your youtube gets cut it's yeah. possible then at least you have your twitter yeah. and your instagram you know uh that's actually one of the reasons why i started my twitter and like i wanted to diversify everywhere because when you're everywhere it's very hard to silence you yeah. you can they can silence one platform but silence yeah. you will be hard because yeah. they people can always find you yeah for sure that's why I, one of the things i was thinking also to expand to a chinese market mm. but that's still a secret yeah and this is the first time actually saying this online but i'll give it a try to expand to like full-on real chinese market okay so we'll see how that goes that's cool i actually experimented with making a chinese voiceover videos yeah. on different chinese platforms are you um, actually did also on billy billy and the, yeah i tried some stuff like that yeah you gotta yeah. tell me about that yeah, yeah yeah it wasn't as successful as, as i was hoping but it was yeah. something yeah. yeah yeah no this is again this is also something for the viewers you cannot succeed unless you try because mm -hmm. i yeah. mean if it if it wasn't for us giving it a go in something and sometimes even risking everything mm -hmm. we wouldn't be making this fucking video today. Yeah, yeah, yeah so exactly so you have to risk something to win something yeah. and of course when you see someone successful like like both of us then some people will think oh wow they must have gotten lucky or like wow they bought bitcoin like yeah. you know it's but so untrue. they don't understand that there's so much that goes into it. So many trials and errors. So yeah. many people telling us to stop what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all of these things, you know, and we went against it. You know, all of those days when we like had some anxiety feeling, oh, maybe I should just stop because this is not the right path. But we kept going, you know. Yeah. And if you keep going through all of these uh, hurdles, eventually you really deserve the success. And when you are a success story, um, people only see that. Yeah, you so know. they start talking behind your back like you're just lucky or something. Yeah. You're right, but the th you know, you you bring up a great point that whatever I did in my life that actually led to a certain level of success, every single time it was hard. It was I never did something in two days and made a million dollars. I mean, 
it was unless we're talking about some investments this is a bit different like launching a project a company or starting something brand new with having nothing yeah every time you have in order to excel and be better than somebody else and doing something faster or better you take so much effort yeah so but people usually don't see this but that's why we have our channels and we mm -hmm. share our stories and yeah. what we do exactly yeah. success is a marathon you have to uh, well, to build like long-term success and wealth, it, yeah. it needs to be, um, you know, a, a long-term mindset and a daily grind. It cannot just be like waking up one day and hoping you can make a million dollars because yeah. if you make a million dollars overnight, you're probably going to lose it the next day. The next day. Yeah. Usually that's how it works. You know, quick money goes very fast as well. And it's, it's also the mindset because I know you're the believer in the law of attraction and I'm, my, my wife is very deep into NLP and mindset mm. and meditations, affirmations, whatever, all of it. I usually, you know, sometimes even in the morning, I do at least half an hour of this mm -hmm. and not because it's magic, but because it programs your mind. Mm -hmm. So this is also something that us, we, I mean, everybody I meet who is rich and famous and uh, really successful has been doing some sort of spiritual yep. work. That's also very hundred percent, hundred percent. Law of attraction is very important. Um, everyone that is very successful, usually they either they used it consciously or even sometimes not deliberately, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but simply having a, a clear vision and goal yeah. is actually using the law of attraction because when you have a high goal, subconsciously you're telling yourself that it's possible. Otherwise yeah. you wouldn't call it a goal, yeah, right? Yeah. And many people, they put goals, like for example, in, let's say in real estate, some people say, yeah, I want to sell a villa that, that's worth $10 million or whatever, and they want to make $500,000 commission, something like this, you know? Yeah. If you put that goal, that means that you tell yourself it's possible. Right. And that simple energy itself helps you achieve that. You focus on it. And that's, I mean, when you don't believe in yourself and you think, oh, this guy, like, Carl has a Bugatti. Like, if I would be looking at Carl and saying, oh, he has a Bugatti, I couldn't afford it like three years ago or whatever, you know, it's, it, I would just bring in my, mm. be bringing myself down. But when I believe that, I can have one as well. And that's when you sort of like, okay, so what does he do? And you start paying attention to the opportunities. And actually, at some point, you end up being the same place yeah. and with the same capability. So it's all in your mind. Yeah. It's crazy. Guys, get inspired by other successful people out there like Thomas himself. You should go follow him for sure on YouTube, but also Instagram because on Instagram, you're showing a lot of your good lifestyle, just like I'm doing as well on Instagram. Some people, they, they think it's too much flexing and too much uh, bragging, but I think both you and me, we, uh, yeah. we, we both think that what we're doing is we're inspiring people. Yes. You know? I never, um, I never did anything to show off. I don't need to show off. You know, I want to show people the path. Mm -hmm. So many people have sent me messages, Carl, saying that, Thomas, I've been following you for two years. You pushed me so f Like right now I changed my life, I'm, I'm here. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I've changed somebody's yeah, life. Yeah. This is what you're doing too. So when you realize this, it's not about showing off. Mm -hmm. It's about changing somebody's perception of reality. And that's what I tell people as well, because I get that question sometimes. Oh, Carl, you're showing off all the time. But, uh, but, uh, but actually five years ago when I was working in a supermarket, I was uh, consuming a lot of content from other people showing off because mm -hmm. that's exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to see their lifestyle. Yeah. So I was following Manny Koshpin, if you know who he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manny, Manny Koshpin, Jun Olsen, yeah. uh, producer Michael, yeah, some of these YouTubers, yeah. you know. I, I follow producer Michael nice. as well. Yeah. Beginning. Amazing content, you know. All yeah. they do all the time is showing cool, expensive stuff, yeah. which is exactly what I wanted because I needed that to, to visualize my own lifestyle. Yeah. Expensive homes, expensive watches and cars, all of the stuff that you will see on our Instagrams. Yeah. Um, and I think it's important. It's a good way for you guys to to um, but it, visualize. It brings up this ego. You feel like, holy shit, these guys have this. Yeah. How am I different? Why yeah. cannot I have a hundred thousand or a million dollar watch? Yeah. Why, 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 why is it only for them? Yeah. And then it's some, you, you become angry. And you should be angry. If you are poor and you really want to be somewhere, you should be angry. So if you're angry at somebody showing off, so go and do something about it. Become better mm -hmm. and maybe not show off. Give us an example yeah, if yeah. you think we're showing off. So. Exactly. The hunger of, of, uh, of, you know, striving of getting more. I think it's, it's very healthy yeah, as men. Sure. It's like uh, it's hard coded in our bodies. And, it, and when we don't pursue that, I think it leads to just like yeah. sadness and depression. And right. like, uh, you know, you don't feel like a man when you just have a normal day job and you don't uh, work with what you want to do, you know? Yeah, you have so, to pursue it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Good stuff. This was a nice video. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me over. Guys, really? leave a thumbs up down below. Let's see if we can reach 2,000 likes at least on this video. And go and check out his uh, channel. Um, I'm going to leave it down below as a link. And uh, hopefully we can do more of these collaborations we in should. the future. We should. We should do that. Good stuff. Yeah.
Cool. See you guys next time. Bye.